What up, Talking Fight fans? Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Knuckle Up. It is Wednesday, hump day. You know what it is. Guys, we got a good one for you today. But first, I got to remind you that today's podcast is brought to you by the Bet Stamp app. <clears throat> and which is helping thousands of people win at sports betting for free. Uh, the same way travelers use Google Flights or Expedia to find the best prices, bettors now use BetStamp to do the same. When you place your bet, the odds given by a sports book will determine how much you can win, uh, possibly win, even betting on the same outcome, guys. Different sports books will offer varying payouts, and these differences can be huge. Thankfully, BetStamp allows you to easily line shop for the most profitable odds across all sports books. Uh, you can click on any matchup and instantly see. All the different odds for the game lines, player props, and even future bets. Line shopping is the simplest way to find an edge in sports betting and maximize your chances on winning long term. On average, bet stamp users win an extra thousand dollars plus yearly just by line shopping. You can find your bet stamp app at the Apple iOS Store, Google Play Store, and through your browser at www.betstamp.app. To access all these benefits, sign up using promo code Talk and Fight and start your journey to successful sports betting today. And if you forget to use the code upon sign up, you can always enter our code in the BetStamp account settings afterwards, guys. So don't forget, go check it out. Again, www.betstamp.app slash talk and fight. You know what it is, guys. So let's get into it. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. We got a prospect for you this weekend. Going to be getting into some action, so you're not going to want to miss it. I'm talking by a young man by the name of Ryan Garner. Known as the Piranha, super featherweight, ranked 13th out of 55 in the UK, 222nd out of 1687 in the world. And this orthodox 5'6 fighter out of Southampton, Hampshire, United Kingdom, is 12-0 and 0 right now, guys, with six wins coming by way of knockout. And he is scheduled for a six-round bout at your call uh, this weekend, guys, on the 12th, Eduardo Valerde. It's going to be a great event. Uh, this one is on the undercard of the Moderna and Hutchinson fight for the WBC International Light Heavy. And uh, we got Zorro taking on Burton for the WBO European Cruiser. Uh, so, yes, he's on the undercard of this, uh, along with uh, Sam Noakes, uh, Greg Greed Davey, um, you know, Chris uh, Bork and Carla Tuma. So definitely some great fights to be on this card. And then we're going to see our young man here, Ryan Garner, on this uh, on this wonderful event. So, guys, let me, let me give you a little bit of a backstory about this kid here. Um, you know, Ryan Garner, former teen talent, is transforming into a mature version of himself and is closing in on realizing his potential. And entering into the title contention, the 25-year-old is keeping busy in the ring, staying in the gym, uh, sticking to an athlete's diet and seeking improvement on a daily basis. His commitment uh, to consistency is paying off, and he's making strides in his career. Garner defeated Pedro Manuel Gomez in Birmingham in November 2021 and followed up with an impressive points victory over Christian Lopez Flores in July of 2022. He's been applying himself to his craft like never before, and his application is finally matching up to his obvious talent. Um, the heady mix should see him progress uh, upstream into a deeper, more dangerous waters before too long. Uh, Garner recently met with his uh, promoter, Frank Warren, in London to map out future plans and tie up contract details. This is the third agreement between the fighter and promoter, and they have everything lined up for him. Uh, the next fight could potentially be a little uh, for a title, and uh, Garner is excited about what the future holds for him. Uh, he said, in other years, I have just been coming through, really. Now, with this new contract, it is a step up uh, right from the get-go. Uh, these next two to three years are going to be the most crucial of his career. And I want to get in the rankings and get some sort of title to show for what he has done so far. Garner's performances show that everything is there and in place now, and he feels much better physically and mentally. Uh, you know, he did take that 14 month layoff a little while ago. Uh, so now he's confident that everything is better and fans will see uh, the best of him in the coming fights. Uh, this will be a complete package. So stay tuned, guys, for more updates on Garner and his exciting belts in this sport. Uh, 
he is going to be fighting this weekend, guys. So definitely, we're going to want to watch him. You're going to want to make sure that you catch his fight, catch the undercard. This kid is one to watch. You know, he burst onto this professional scene in 2016 and was considered one of boxing's finest prospects. However, several well-documented mishaps, uh, mostly uh, weight-related, stalled his uh, fledging career. Garner missed numerous opportunities to progress and significantly increased his record. But the penny has finally dropped. The Southampton man acknowledges his mistakes, and he was really... He fully dedicated himself to this craft. Um, Garner has taken everything seriously in preparation for his upcoming fight, including diet, weight, and sparring, and has been boxing since he was 10 years old uh, and was a highly decorated amateur. Uh, For him, putting in all this hard work and winning as an amateur would have been a terrible waste if he didn't continue his career as a professional. So Garner is looking forward to getting this fight done and getting straight back out and staying busy. Uh, You know, he has aspirations to get into the 20s pretty quickly uh, because he wants to stay active. Garner's promoter, Frank Warren, knows that Garner is doing the right things, and as long as he produces, Warren will continue to do his part. Uh, Garner is fighting on that undercard, guys. I just let you know, so make sure you check it out. Set your PVRs. You're not going to want to miss it. This is going to be definitely a great event, and, uh, you know, it's going to be a great undercard. So, guys, check it out. It's your man, Mike, with his ear to the ground around the world, finding these young, hungry, undefeated prospects for you guys to find. And, uh, you know, you just got to watch him, man, because you know what? I'm never wrong with these guys. I'm never wrong. I haven't been yet. So, guys, do me a favor. Go out, check out our man this Friday. Or, sorry, is it Friday or is it Saturday? 12th. Well, either way, it is the 12th of May, Friday, Friday the 12th. Check it out, man. This one, uh, Moderna, Hutchinson, that's the headliner. Co-main event, Zorro, Burton on the other card, undercard, Garner, Ituma. We got some big fights on here. So, guys, go check it out. We'll talk to you next time. We'll see you Friday for Female Friday, so make sure you come check me out. We'll see you then. Peace. <laughs>